Once again, Brindisi was packed at the season opener of the F2 World Championship. Thousands of fans witnessed a spectacular race. Many new faces and lots of surprises at the Grand Prix of Italy. In year one after the domination of Eric Stark, it was Pierre Landin who was traded for the race win. But already at the first qualifying session, it was Ola Pettersen, Bimba Sjöholm and Rup Temper gaining the first three positions. In Q2, also Nick Bisterfeld surprised with a second place. But in single shootout Q3, the German missed his chance and ended up eighth on the grid. The big surprise of this Saturday in Brindisi was Bimba Sjöholm. With a fantastic lap in Q3, she jumped up to second on the grid. I was hoping for a top five because that's the goal or aim for, but no, this is fantastic. I'm so happy. But we have a race to do and you need to be, to at least have some chance to overtake someone, so it's good to be second. Sjöholm, only two tenths of a second slower than pole setter Pierre Landin, who found speed in his very final lap in Q3. It was close and Bimba did a, a really nice job and uh, no, I, I did what I could, I, I couldn't go any faster, so it was close. It was already half past seven on Sunday when the 20 drivers qualified for the race launched off the dock and it was Pierre Landin who went straight into the lead. Second qualified Bimba Sjöholm had a bad start, so Eric Edin went up to second, followed by Sjöholm, who was already under hard pressure from Wayne and De Jager. Landin, meanwhile, could open a big gap to the rest of the field. Behind him, still battles for the positions continued in an exciting way. And two drivers seemed to be unstoppable in this race. The German Nick Bisterfeld, who started eighth, gained spot by spot and ended up on a fantastic second position, even closing the gap to race leader Pierre Landin in the final laps of the race. Oh, my feeling is very good. Uh, the water was rough, but my boat is good by this condition and I'm really happy. And then there was this young newcomer from Great Britain who made his F2 debut in Brindisi, Matthew Pelfreyman. He started from 17th spot and it was just amazing how he rushed through the field, overtaking one boat after another. When the checkered flag was shown, the youngster found himself on the podium of the Grand Prix of Italy. First international race and I'm third and Matthew's been in the championship now. We're going for, the, uh, going for the world title, but I thought we were going to have a disappointing time after the qualifying we had. We started in 16th, got up to third, more than happy now. With a straight start-finish victory of Pierre Landin, finally the Swede made it to the top after several second places in the 2014 season. Ah, this is unbelievable, uh, and, but I didn't do it myself. I have my, an incredible team with me. Uh, propeller guy, Mr. Dynamite, is unbelievable. And more, David Moore, who built me the, this boat, is, oh, it's so easy. <laughs> Almost easy to drive, it's really nice. And the best team ever, so it's a group effort. I'm happy, I'm really happy. With these three on the podium, the 2015 F2 World Championship seems to become the year of the new faces. But still, there are many more who want to challenge them. So don't miss the next race. Stay tuned and follow F2 on Facebook and f2worldchamp.com.